can you can you quickly um uh, tell us and the listeners um what you mean by ethereum 1x and how it differs from ethereum 1 and ethereum 2 and how serenity and constantinople actually fit into the picture yeah so i'm gonna work walk you through the what i call the short prehistory um as i usually introduce the 1.x so it starts with the um cancun in november november 2017 where vitalik had gave his closing speech called uh um what was it called modus proposal for ethereum 2.0 and in that speech he uh, said that uh, the plan well some his suggestion is to keep the ethereum 1.0 as the conservative and safe uh chain and uh most of the innovations uh, will go into the shards shards on ethereum 2.0 so people thought well that makes sense kind of and then uh in may 2018 at edcon in in toronto vitalik gave another presentation about the what i think it was called so you want to become a casper validator and so that was about uh, uh about running the casper validators on your laptop that uh the, it basically signaling that uh, the Casper FFG, as it called, a friendly finality gadget, was near, was close. But then, somewhat surprisingly for people, uh, in June 2018, there comes a uh, so I call, what I call pivot in Ethereum 2.0, meaning that the Casper FFG on Ethereum 1.0 would not happen. Instead, there will be a separate chain, which is called a beacon chain that will be launched as the in parallel to Ethereum 1.0. And then the Casper researchers and the sharding researchers will be merged into one research team because they turned they they turned out to be doing lots of similar things. And then that pivot basically meant that, well, we are not going to so the, the the first people thought, well, maybe this pivot means that we're going to get uh, sharding faster or Casper faster. But then by the October and November 2018, when again Vitalik uh, laid out the potential timeline for the Serenity, it became clear, mm, actually, it's not going to be that fast, right? It might take three years optimistically to functionally supersede the Ethereum 1.0 and maybe five years uh, not so optimistically um by functionally superseding i mean you need to go through phase zero phase one and phase two to actually get to the same functionality as we get in ethereum 2.0 so if just just launching the beacon chain is not enough um so then people realize oh we have to we have to live with the ethereum 1.0 for another three years at least and probably for another five years and look what is happening. <laughs> and so this kind of look what is happening was it was sort of the, the initial chatter in, in DevCon 4 among the kind of core developers, like, whoa, what do you think is gonna happen? Like, is it going to, we, we, we're really struggling with the growing state, with the sync, uh, with the synchronization, things taking forever, Are we, is it gonna work? So this is what, how the Ethereum 1.0, 1.x actually born. And the reason why it's called 1.x is because we don't know if it's going to be 1.3, 1.5, or whatever, 1.7. So we just put the X in there. 